you're in the new song. That's a big deal. So tell me about that experience, getting the call, and uh, have you started shooting yet? Yeah, we actually just wrapped a couple weeks ago. Okay. We shot for about six weeks in Toronto. Um, I had an amazing time. Chris Rock is a phenomenal co-star. Um, I've had, I mean, I had so much fun. You'd think, you would think with the dark content of Saw mm -hmm. that this would be like a very serious set. It couldn't have been more opposite. Just goofy and happy and, you know, your dead bodies and broken arms and this and that and the other. And we had a blast. We had a great time. Did you find that the looser set allowed you all to go even deeper into the It really does. I mean, I, I, it was really kind of freeing, I think. It was just such a different character than what I play on Riverdale yeah. that I loved diving into that. And then, like I mentioned, Chris was amazing. I worked with Sam, which was like, you know. Right, right. It's Sam Jackson. What surprised you about being on the set with those two? Besides the humor, was it, what else surprised you about being on the set with Sam and Chris? You know, I, it's going to sound silly, but maybe the collaboration. Okay. The willingness to collaborate. The willingness, at the end of the day, to just make sure you get a good product. I love that. You know, and that, that I find with any guy that's sort of hopefully at the top of their game, yeah. they're willing to collaborate. They just want to make a good a good scene, a good show. Where are you at yeah. in your career now? Coming off, you know, you're still doing Riverdale, yeah. and you got Saw going on. Yeah. You see these doors opening, right? Yeah. And um, what yeah. is exciting you about the possibilities for your career where you're at now? Um, you're still young, you're yeah, still building. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I love telling stories. Yeah. I love being a part of... I love being a part of things that people love to watch, to embrace. I've been very lucky with Riverdale, and then to jump into the Saw series that has a huge following. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy that. At the same time, it's kind of pressure, a little bit of pressure, I'm not going to lie. That's what makes diamonds. Um, but you're right, you said it. It opens up doors, and it allows me to hopefully tell more stories, play different roles, work with other people that I admire You know, within my field. Right. Yeah. Now, Riverdale is obviously based on the Archie stuff, which is kind of nerdy, geeky comic book stuff as well. Uh, Saw, obviously horror has its uh, has its fans as well. Uh, what are you into geek-wise? Are you into anything? Are you one of those cool girls? I'm a sci-fi girl. Okay. I always have been. I read every night before I go to bed, so and it's constant, constant science fiction books. Wow, wow. I just love them. Are you watching anything now that's like uh, geek-wise or sci-fi? Are you into the MCU at all? I mean, I'm more reading. Okay. I'm reading. I that's read all thing. the time. I watch on planes. Okay. That's when I watch okay. TV shows or movies. Um, what is something you want to do next? Like, what is a style of film, a genre of film you want to do next? Look, anybody in my business is going to say Marvel. Anybody. Right. Because of the paycheck. And the, comedy, yeah. and the idea of playing a superhero is really, really cool. Um, for me, it's, it's I'm not going to say no, mm -hmm. but I, I like playing a character that has a story. I like playing broken characters. I like playing characters that don't start out broken and then become broken. Mm -hmm. I like a, a challenge, I think, probably just right. like any other performer, but I enjoy that sort of thing. The hero is really, really fun. But if I'm going to play the hero, I'd like it to be a struggling, yeah. a struggling hero. Yeah. You see, you see this happening now. More and more of these sci-fi, geeky, uh, um, superhero stuff are exploring trauma and PTSD and mental health stuff. Does that excite you as an actress? Not because that's being taught, not because that's something to explore, because that's something that's being talked about. Honestly, it is. It is, and I think any like science fiction, fantasy, they're all sort of embracing this new movement, and it's all just sort of very collaborative. And I really, really like that. It's very inclusive. Well, it seems like that's the kind of roles. You'll be doing next so thank you so much for your time very nice to meet you